Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. If you don't know how to get a hold of me, there is something seriously wrong with you. Uh, I've got an email address, chris at perillo.com. I've got a toll-free number, 888-PERILLO. I've got an iJot widget at live.perillo.com that allow you to use your webcam to send me uh, video mail. And of course, you could leave a follow-up video on YouTube, and I'm hopefully going to be able to see it. I also Facebook account. Oh my, it, the options just go on and on and on. Well, we have one of our community members decided uh, to call me earlier tonight and ask a relatively simple question. Hi, I was just wondering, what are dot logs in Windows Vista mean? I go into my hard drive and it says audio.log, land.log, ld.log. Are they safe to delete? Please answer at live.prolo.com. Well, uh, it seems like Vince is the person who called, and geez, it's been a while since we answered uh, one of Vince's questions. Sorry about that. Uh, log files are typically text files that are written somewhere on your hard drive, and where they're written can vary depending on the program. Some programs write log files in the My Documents folder. Some write them to the Windows uh, folder. Some, uh, some programs write it even to the root of your C drive. Uh, so they can be written all over the place. A log file is, well, kind of what it sounds like. You know, uh, in Star Trek, Captain's Log, Stardate, blah, 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 blah. And it's a, a log of everything that he did. Well, that's kind of the way programs use log files. They dump information to these log files, uh, likely for diagnostic information or in some cases for uninstallation information. Are they safe to delete? Well, log files in and of themselves are relatively benign, in, at least in the traditional sense of a log file. Uh, but as I said, some programs, when they write an uninstaller, need a log file to be able to go back and look at what they did originally when they installed, or when you installed the program, to be able to undo according to that log file. Um, for the most part, though, I, I say that uh, they are safe to delete. If anything, what you might consider doing is quarantining them or just moving them to a separate folder somewhere on your hard drive uh, and, or just copy it up to or back it up to some kind of a, a CD or removable media, USB, thumb drive. In fact, i got to show you this. I got this one. This is You can't get this. I mean, you can get one of these. It's a, a removable media, USB stick, memory thing, 2 gigabytes, uh, Edgeo. Uh, e d g e i o dot com uh, made had made these up for Gnome Dex, my conference, and on this side they put my Locker Gnome logo. So I actually have my logo on a thumbstick. This is kind of cool, and it's two gigabytes, which is awesome. Um, so you could copy the log files uh, to you know a stick or to a disk, and if you end up with problems, well then you can restore them to their original location, so long as you remember where you originally had those log files. Um, yeah, so log files are kind of good. Sometimes, as a matter of fact, um, if you're having a problem with any particular program, you might contact the developer, the programmer, the person who created it, and tell them what's going on, and they may ask you to turn on some kind of diagnostic mode that would dump out a log file that you could then take and send off to them, uh, and then hopefully from there, they'd be able to look at what was going on and be able to fix the bug for you and as well as others. So log files are good things to have around, but they're just not necessary. I say, if you're not running out of disk space, just leave them be. There's really no need to get rid of them. Unless, of course, you're doing really wacky things with your computer and you want to cover your tracks, in which case, yeah, you, you, you want to avoid log files. Not everyone loves log. I love log. What rolls downstairs, alone or in pairs, run over your neighbor's dog. What's great for a snack and fits on your back. I'm sorry. Really bad running stimpy memory there. Yeah, who Ren and Stimpy are. Well, it's law.